Hello, Grade Fives, and whoever else may want to watch. This is your double vanishing point video. And you might ask, well, why would I want two vanishing points? Well, look at this picture. This is one of the most famous department stores in London, England. I've been there a few times, and it is very, very posh, as they say, very posh. If you want anything very expensive and very proper, you'd go to Herod's, yes. So, how would you draw something like that? Well, you need two vanishing points. So, let's pick one. And i got to put all the grids in this time. I'm just going to have a couple of vanishing points. I might start... with a bit of a level spot here. Bring that up a bit. And then my vanishing points, you'd have to have one over here, and one, try and get it kind of parallel. I'm just going to draw a line there to keep me straight. So one vanishing point here, and another vanishing point over here. Okay. So get rid of my guideline there. So the front of Herod's, I would start with the front of the building first. So once again, I'm trying to keep things level with the... Uh, the edge of the page, or square with the edge of the page. And as I look at the picture, I know the front of it is just not very wide. So I'm going to draw that first. That's going to be the front of my building. Now the rest of that building is all going to line up with the vanishing point. So the double vanishing point is really when you can see two directions at the same time. Like standing on the corner, looking down two streets. At the moment, it looks like just two triangles. But then if you look at the lines of the building, you can pick any building if you want to practice. This line isn't going to be so straight. It's kind of <clears throat> a curved window in the front of Herod, so I'm going to curve that around. <clears throat> and then the top of the building is going to curve the other way. Like that. Now, I'm going to put some guidelines in because there is a fancy wooden curved part of the building here. So I want to make sure that lines in perspective with the rest of the building. So once again, I'm going to tie it in with my vanishing point. And then further up the building, I'm 
there's quite a big ridge that comes across the top here. So I'm going to line that up. There we go. <clears throat> and of course there's the sidewalk. Now the sidewalk actually, because the road goes past here, the sidewalk comes out. But it's still going to be a part of that vanishing point. So I'm going to add the sidewalk and that's going to come right out past the building. And we could add another sidewalk past the building. And get rid of my guide marks. So Harrods has lots of windows, lots and lots of windows all the way along here. And there's awnings. Now this is the tricky part because the awnings are curved. So this is where you have to use your artistic eye. Let's put the bottom of those awnings in perspective. And I'm just going to do a light line. So it kind of disappears and I can erase this a bit later. So the awnings curve around like this. And then that would be the bottom. So the awnings are kind of curved and they come down in like that. And then I would just repeat that. And uh, they're very close together. So draw another awning. The second awning is going to be a little bit shorter. Because as things get further away, they get smaller. So now you can see I'm I'm using this guideline, but now it's hiding and I don't have to erase it. And so forth. So you can see my building starting to take shape. So I do all the awnings all the way down. And above the awnings, that nice wood bit here is actually a little bit thick. So I'm going to use my vanishing point and add the top of the wood part. As I said, Herod's is very posh. This is beautiful, dark, almost like a redwood outside the building. And then that's where the other windows start. And they're all curved. So there's windows like this with an arch. And then they have straight panes like this and those windows go all the way along the building and this could be used as a guide this line here so I'm going to add another line for that one 
very light because I want it to disappear. But that is going to be where the rest of these windows top out. And then once again, the arches get smaller as you go down. I won't finish it all in the video. That would take a very long time. But this is where you use a double vanishing point. I'm going to finish it off and show you at the end. Um, let's add there's a ridge you know in the movies where people climb out the windows and they stand on these ridges and they, they're pretending to jump or whatever Spider-Man has to come save them. Well, there's one of those ridges just above those windows. So there's the ridge. And then there are one, two, three, four stories of windows. Four stories of windows. So I would add, that's one. And I'm going to kind of estimate the size of the windows. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to add very light guidelines for those windows. So those would be the arch windows down, and then there's all these crazy square windows. All the way along. As it's more of a sketch, I'm not going to use a ruler for everything, but now I can use these lines as a guide. Finish off those windows. See how it's starting to take shape? And I left this window because they're actually a little different. The individual windows that have a little arch on the top. As I said, <coughs> Harris is very ornate. The outsides are ornate, <coughs> the insides are ornate or posh, very fancy. And that is where you would use your uh, double vanishing points. This is a fancy uh, display window here. There you go. So have fun with your double vanishing points. And if you're lucky, I'll finish this and I'll show you later.